Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome to my channel. Hope you're having a great day so far. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get free grade 9 and 10 crafting and or gathering material. Now, every expansion is going to be new players or people coming back from a long time break and sometimes we forget or don't know about this trick. Now, in central Thanalan, we have our friend Mudamix at X23.7, Y13.6 in the bonfire. He will give you a random materia that you did not give him and sometimes you'll get back crafting or gathering materia. So if we give him one of each, piety, spell and skill speed, tenacity, and then I would say direct hit is probably the least of the red materia, he will give you one materia that you did not give him. So there's a chance that you will get crit determination, or there's a chance that you will get crafting or gathering material. You'll do this action once. Unless you cancel out, then he'll do it again, but this is only a one-time animation. And we got a Craftsman's 10, so it's a CP 10. All right, so we try that again. And I'll show you guys exactly how to get a crap ton of grade 9 and 10 material. Alright, so that one gave me craftsmanship. Now, it's never wise to do this when the marker board is basically high on material. So basically, every time there's a new patch that requires a new gear to come out, people will want to meld that gear. So it's probably best not to do this until later down the road where the marker board kind of steadies out and then kind of tanks. So since the next patch is in late August, you've probably got some time till then to get as much material as possible or just start hoarding your battle material. So that gave me another CP. So I ran out of skill speed, so I'm going to double up on the on direct hit. And that ended up giving me back the determination. So you could get um, crit or determination, which is probably even more expensive on the market board, but you basically want to do this until you're basically out of grade nine and 10. If you're doing grade nine, there's a chance that you'll get upgraded to a grade 10. All right, so that is what you call materia transmutation. You unlock this really early in the game, I think around level 30-ish. Alright, so now on to the part where how do we get said materia. So I believe the guy over here teaches you how to spirit bond your gear. Now there's plenty of ways how to spirit bond your battle gear in 14. One, make sure you have your buffs for spirit bonding up. If you're not in a free company, you can't use the free company buffs, but you can use your squadron manuals, but you're going to have to do a specific mission in order to get these this will give you a plus three in spirit bomb bonus there are spirit bomb potions that you can use or you also can use the food better crown pie that also will give you bonus to your spirit bomb game so every time you do anything end game content so like end game raids on uh, end game dungeons fates in the last zone you will gain spirit bond percentage which is right under your condition once it hit 100 you will be able to extract your materia make sure not to retrieve material that takes the materia out you want to extract the materia all right so i got a grade 9 tenacity and if you look over here this is where your gear is if it turns white that means it's ready to spirit bond if it's still green that means it's not so a little heads up So that gave me a tenacity nine. All right, so the next thing you guys can do to get materia is do your expert roulette. The enemies can drop random materia, mostly RNG to you or somebody else. You can get them through the treasure chest as well. The next thing you can do is your adventure in need. You will never 
almost never seen this as a DPS. So either a healer or a tank, you must do it as a venture in need. This is always going to be available, so if you do your one-time roulette, as long as you're a venture in need, you always will get your crystals. You'll get one for grade 10, and then one for grade 9. Next is the Alliance Raid. Same rules apply. You will get Demi Crystals when you're doing Adventure in Need. So you do these, three, and you'll get your crystals, and then hopefully you'll get your drops inside. If you're doing it with a free company or friends, and they don't want the materia, ask them for it, and hopefully you'll get it. Next is going to be Wondrous Tales. Now, in Wanderer's Tales, you get these certificates. Bronze, silver, and if you're lucky with three lines, you can get gold certificates, which you can exchange for materia, or the crystals. Alright, so we're going to head over to Chloe in the Edelshire, and I'll show you guys where to get those. Alright, so here we are in Edelshire. So Chloe Leopold at X5.6, Y6.0 will give you a Wondrous Tales book every Tuesday. You have at least two weeks to do it. All right, so over here is where the quest will be unlocked, keeping up with the Leopolds once you complete the 3.0. So she will give you certificates for getting one, two, or three lines. Two lines will give you silver, three either silver or gold, and one line will give you bronze. So these certificates will give you those clusters that I showed you earlier. Two for one battle materia and one non battle materia, so crafting and gathering. Grade nine will give you four for battle and two for non battle for one bronze. Silver will give you four for one silver for battle for grade 10 and two for non. Grade nine will give you eight and grade nine non battle will give you four. And gold will give you a whopping 12 for battle, 6 for non, 24 for battle, and 12 for non for grade 10 and 9 respectively. But like I said, grade, um, the gold ones are impossible almost to get unless you're really, really lucky. Alright, so that is how you get clusters from Wondrous Tales. Alright, the next way to get your crystals is through the A rank trains. Unfortunately, I don't have any footage to show you guys, but every server should have their own link shell that does the hunt, usually in the morning when they first spawn, then towards the middle of the day, and then towards the end of the day. You should be getting trains about three times, three times a day. And sometimes the hunts will give you these crystals every time you kill them, plus give you nuts and, of course, tombstones. So make sure that you get on those trains as soon as possible. And if you see them, ask for an invite. They will give you S rank spawns as well as the world boss fates so you guys can get your mounts, bardings, and stuff like that. So make sure you take advantage of that because glad I did. So we're going to head over to Vazant Hand and I'll show you guys where to get the materia through the hunt. And then I'll show you guys where to get the materia through the beast tribe, the Arkasadara, or the tribe quest as we're calling it now. All right, so I'll see you guys in Razad Han. All right, guys, so here we are in Razad Han. So the NPC is going to be at X10.5, Y7.4. And you're going to be needing to unlock the hunt as you go through your main character in Endwalker. I already showed you guys how to do that in a video, so if you guys want to watch that, you can. But the hunt vendor here will give you grade 9 and 10. 150 for grade 9. 400 for grade 10. I would not recommend doing this because you kind of want your nuts for stuff to upgrade your tombstone gear or get your mount, your wings, or a minion. So I recommend not doing this, but this is where you guys get your grade 9 and 10 through the nuts. All right, so next is going to be the Arkasadara tribe quest, which is going to be in the open world, so I'll see you guys when I get there. Alright guys, so here we are in the outside world. So at X20.4, Y20.4, you'll have the Tribe Quest Settlement. Now, in order to unlock this, you have to come over here, do the Stepchild Questline, come over to Pelikistan, do what's in a parent questline, 
then do budding adventure once those two are done. Then you will come back down here and pick up the tribe quest to unlock them. Made a video about that if you guys want to use that as reference. So you will do your dailies over there with Maru. Then come over here to the peddler over here and exchange their currency for battle 9 and 10 materia. Obviously don't do this until you have everything else bought up when you rank up. Once you're done with all that, pick whatever you want to use your currency on and get free materia. It'll take two days to get grade 10 and one day to get grade 9. And the last but not least is going to be your treasure map dungeons. If you're lucky enough to do the Kumbira skin treasure maps, there's a chance that you'll get a portal. Inside the portal, you can get materia from, I think, the rainbow golems that drop in that treasure map dungeon. But sometimes you also get to the treasure chest itself. But that's all RNG. So if you really get lucky, you can get your materia through there. Battle and crafting gathering, respectively, are in there as well. But basically, those are all the ways that you guys can get your materia to transmute into grade 9 and 10 crafting and gathering materia. Obviously, there is script farming. If you want to do it that way, it's a more direct way to do it. But if you don't want to do it that way, but you want to make gill and do other things besides crafting and gathering, you guys can transmute through battle materia. So, either way, it's up to you guys how you want your materia. But I'm showing you guys this way because, like I said, a lot of people forget about the transmutation. So I want to bring this to light, just to make sure that everybody remembers. Moonamix is a great person to go to if you're overflowing with materia or the market crashed. All right, guys, so that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, and or concerns, please put in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to have you guys have any questions you might have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content and join the first brood. As a reminder, make sure that notification bell next to my subscribe button is where you guys need to upload and join my Discord server by hitting the world icon on my YouTube banner. I also have YouTube memberships available for anybody who wants to support my channel monetarily. Both are completely optional. So until next time, if you're ever walking in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut, and always remember to keep forging ahead. Good luck.